Welcome back to Angry Badger Minis. Just wanted to give you a quick update on what's going on. We are now working on our Black Templars. Uh, what we've got going on here is, as you can see over here, we've got Grimaldus. That's how you say his name. Along with his retinue. You can't see these guys, but we've got Emperor's Champion. Then I guess it would be the next to newest one. This is the very first one um, over here that you also can't see. Uh, was a limited edition model um, that I've resurrected and put some bits on and stuff to try to make him into a legit Black Templars uh, commander. Um, we've also got, unfortunately, their fine cast, but I've got the Sword Brethren, uh, all five of them. But what I don't understand is maybe they're somewhere else. Um, I have not found them in the rules, um, so they'll either have to be something else or, or I'm not sure what, but anyway, so we went ahead and we put all those together first. Um, we've also adjusted some camera angles here and stuff. What we've got here is we have 30 tactical marines, um, at least that's the plan, um, and we've got... Uh, uh, over here somewhere behind me we've got um uh, 30 assault uh assault marines and we've got three drop pods two land raider crusaders slash redeemers and 10 uh terminators um and i believe i'm going to i believe they're assault squad terminators uh yes they are so i'm i'm my plan is uh, I don't know. I'm thinking magnetize them and go either lightning claws or thunder hammers or storm shields. I, I don't know that I'm going to mix them. I think I'm going to keep them all the same. But what we're also planning on doing is if you see here, I've got over over here, um, I've got, uh, you know, these uh, Templar upgrade things. And I've got enough for all 30 of these guys to wear robes. But then I've also got six extras um, that do not or will not, um, they are not going to, obviously that's not enough for my assault guys. Um, I could potentially put three on two squads or two on each squad, but then it's gonna, in my mind, it's gonna look weird. And honestly, I'm not sure why you would be wearing robes anyway in a jump pack capacity, you know, flying around. I mean, I'm sure that, you know, there's plenty of, you know, chaplain models and stuff like that out there that do it. Um, I just, you know, it just doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So what I think I'm going to do is I've got some scouts here that I hadn't planned on using from the, um, uh, gosh, what do you call it? The uh, Armageddon. Uh, game uh, I might have that wrong um, it was a squad based game basically and I've got 10, 10 squads here or, I'm sorry 10 squads 10 uh, scouts but I'm thinking about uh, going ahead putting together uh, five, 5 of these marines you know in this squad uh, right here and then attaching some neophytes to them. Uh, that might be the, be the best route to go. So, at least that's what I'm thinking. And we have the bodies to do it, we've got the, the guys to do it, and of course they're the only, um, you know, they're the only army that, that allows for that. So, um, that's what I'm kind of leaning towards. But this entire box here, aside from this little pile right here and all of the, I mean, there's, there's two, you know, you got one row here, another row, and then there's another row of, um, what you call it, um, robes. All of these, and then this entire box here is nothing but Black Templars chapter upgrades, okay? The, the head, the helmets, the little icons, Terminator and Tactical or Crusader Squad, whatever you want to call them, uh, shoulder pads, 
um, the different you know gun, uh, bolters and bolt pistols that have the chains on them uh, you know plasma flamer multi melta guns over here or I'm sorry melta guns over here um, body you know chest pieces that don't have um, the robes to them the uh, a few backpacks that are black templar ish that didn't come with many which I was kind of shocked at um, and then these two right here these are complete you know nothing but close combat stuff uh, more in line with the black templars as far as their um, you know the chains on everything and whatnot also the upgrade upgrades came with this and, and I want to tell you a little story so uh, I regret that I didn't leave it out here I've already put put away all of the Deathwing Dark Angels and Ravenwing into their case and I'll look at that you know later but um, or do a video on that later but uh, these are all you know these came in the packages of the up upgrades and as you can see I had six chapter upgrade uh, boxes essentially I was looking online to see because I made a bunch of I, I took a lot of the stuff from the Ravenwing sprues and put them on the Dark Angel Land Raider and I'll tell you I am superbly pleased with the kit batch that I was able to do for that it was amazing but it left me wanting you know more for um, you know my other uh, stuff you know like these Black Templars and whatnot well coincidentally I did not realize this or maybe I'd forgotten after all these years but here's your land raider doors here's your rhino doors you know everything that you need to do exactly what I did there not not to mention all of the you know all of the upgrades and stuff in here that that you can use you know to further deck that stuff out so even though I've only got two land raiders you know I've got four sprues worth and if if I want to cut some stuff off and put it on or if I don't you know I don't know maybe turn around and you know see if anybody needs this kind of stuff on eBay or what have you but uh, I almost bought this stuff on eBay because I didn't realize it was in there and I was just opening the box while surfing eBay and sure enough I was like holy smokes I'm glad I didn't order that so there's a there's a lot to be said for this army and uh, I I don't know how you are about your models, but I'm not a real big fan of the decals. I mean, if you got to use them, you got to use them. It's just, you know, the way things go, but it's not really something that, you know, I was, you know, really looking forward to. And, um, you know, I apologize for the beeping in the background. Um, but it's, you know, it is what it is. And I, I like the more raised look. And if they're, the only problem I have with this is, if I run into armies that don't have this kind of thing and Games Workshop's not selling it, what is the dilemma and what do I do, you know, about um, being able to, you know, to play in a tournament or something like that, you know, like a legit tournament that doesn't allow for non-Games Workshop stuff, if that makes sense. So, anyway, this is what we're working on. I uh, just wanted to let you guys know real quick. And um, this army, believe it or not, is going pretty fast as well. The longest part was cutting out all, you know, all the bits. Um, but I don't think that's going to be too big of a deal. And it looks like I'm rolling on about uh, about two days per army. It seems like this one might take a little longer because I'm trying to figure out what's going on with what I would like to have. But you know, it is what it is. So anyway, we'll see you guys next time. And thanks for tuning in.